Shalom, shalom. Just want to do this quick lesson. First and foremost, before I begin, I want to give all praises, glory, and honor to Yahweh by Shem Yahshua by Shem Akarkadash, the bonds of the apostles, the bonds of the elders, the great millstone, rule well, and tell us his truth. Much respect to you, brothers out there, just preaching his word and truth and sincerity throughout the four corners of the earth. Tabernacle David, hopeful elect in the speckled bird, I want to say shalom. So like I said, I just want to do this quick lesson. <laughs> As you see, you know, Kevin Hart sitting on another man's lap. And this is what these uh, riches, you know, laying down with the devil is going to do for you. You know, to get to where you want to be in this world, so-called want to be in this world, you know, rich and famous. And you got to lay down with the devil, man. You got to push this wickedness out towards, towards our people. And it just goes to show you, you know, the leaders of our people, they're, they're a joke, man. They're a joke. They're effeminate. They're weak. At the end of the day, man, that, that money can't be making you happy, man. It can't. Maybe it does, you know. Maybe it does make them happy. But, hey, these people are nothing but a joke, man. Nothing but a joke. So I'm going to get this right here. This is Ecclesiastes 7 and 7. Surely oppression making a wise man mad. And a gift destroyeth the heart. You see, the wise man that understands that we're still in oppression, no matter money or, or gold and silver, is going to make you change your mind. But the weak, the simple, all Esau Edom got to do is give them a little money and they sell out. They sell out. As it says, a gift destroyeth the heart. They, they sell out. Oh man, you got you to push this wickedness towards our people. That's what our people do. That's what our people do. But as I said, the wise man, the prudent man, he's worried about hastening the coming of the Lord. Let's get, let's, uh, get this because the weak, the feminine, that, that, hey, you sitting on another man's lap, that's that's weak. That's effeminate. You're not supposed to be, you grown ass man. What, what are you doing sitting on another man's lap? This is 1 Corinthians 6 and verse 9. Know ye not that the unrighteous shall not inherit the kingdom of power. You're not going to inherit the kingdom. You're going to be the lowest in the kingdom of heaven. Be not deceived, no fornicators, no idolaters, no adulterers, nor effeminate. You see that? Effeminate. And that goes into being effeminate. It's 144 when I said that. All right, this dude's is effeminate. That's an effeminate nation. That's an effeminate act. Matter of fact, nor abusers of themselves with mankind. Man laying down with another man. You're not going to inherit the kingdom of power on the first go around. You have to come back in the kingdom of heaven as a newborn baby. Okay. When you wake up, you're going to have the everlasting shame and contempt on you. All right. Let's get this. This is uh, Proverbs 28 and 22. He that hasteth. To be rich, have an evil eye. You have an evil eye, man. Esau Edom says, you you got to sit down on my lap. You got to push this wickedness towards our people. Hey, hey, you run with it, man, because you love that money. You love that fame. And consider not the... Slacky, and consider not that poverty shall come upon him. And you can also apply this to Esau Edom. Because the earth is giving it to the hand of the wicked. All right. And, and he's hastening his way to get rich. You see these uh, unrighteous decrees being passed. You know, and you best believe these uh, <laughs> medical companies, hey, they making big, big money. But uh, getting back on Kevin Hart and, and the two thirds. All right. They hastening to be rich, man. As it says in the scriptures, matter of fact, I'm going to go ahead and get it. Proverbs 11 and 4. Riches profit not in the day of wrath, but righteousness deliver from death. So your riches are not going to profit you in the day of wrath. So when Jacob's trouble pop off, hey, man, you're going to have a lot of people looking for it. Looking for you, man. Your cars, your clothes, hey, all that's not going to matter, man. It's going to be used to, <laughs> to uh, uh, be thrown into a fireplace to keep you warm at night. All right, you're going to find out the hard way that, that your riches that you accumulated in this world is going to amount to nothing. But the men of the Lord and the elect, those that love righteousness and doing what the Lord 
is telling them to do, they're going to be delivered from death. All right. Let's get this right here. Second Timothy three and verse one. This know also that in the last days, perilous times shall come. Hey, that's what we telling y'all, man. You want to be weak and effeminate? Well, these perilous times that's going to come, you're not going to make it. For men shall be lovers of themselves, covetousness, boasters, proud, blasphemers, disobedience to parents, unthankful, unholy, without natural affection, truth breakers, false accusers, incontent, uh, fierce, despisers of those that are good, traitors, heady, high minded. You see the high minded, lovers, lovers of pleasures more than lovers of God. You see, you love that money. More than you love the Lord, so hey, you you quick to sell out, having a form of godliness, but denying the power thereof. From such turn away. All right, and you can clearly see these are the actions of the majority of these people that's running that's uh, running around in this world. This type of this type of spirit is running rampant. Let's get this is uh, Romans 1 and 26. For this cause power gave them up unto a vile affections. For even their women did change the natural use into that which is against nature. You see what, what <laughs> Kevin Hart is doing is, is against nature. You know, allegedly, you know, behind the scenes, hey, he, he doing some things, man. Got to. Got to. And likewise, also the men leaving the natural use of a woman. <laughs> man, you sp these dudes are so weak and effeminate, man. I was about to say, hey, a woman is supposed to be sitting on on your lap, man, not you sitting on another man's lap. This place, this place is, <laughs> this place is upside down, man. Burning the lust ones towards another, hey, that's that's lust. That's not love. Men with men working that which is unseemly. That's unseemly, Kevin Hart. You pushing that weakness, weakness to our people. Showing you have no problem with doing that, man. <laughs> That's unseemly, man. And receiving in themselves recompense of their error, which was met. You see, that's, you know, as you do your research, either AIDS and them dying early. Or, you know, the, hey, the Lord's going to save up these people for the income of destruction. You know, but I'm going to end it right there. Like I said, I just wanted this one to be quick. Lord, when it's edifying, I want to give all praises, glory, and honor to Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh, Shabbat, Shem, Gargadash, Wa'a, Baba, Shalom.